Hey everyone, thank you so much for being here today. My name is Denise, I'm also known as Hey Wig Sister on Instagram and Facebook. Today I'm here to do a little bit of a styling video. I have on my head the budget friendly wig that I just recently reviewed from Lemon Wigs. This is an under $30 wig and I've cut bangs in it, so you might not be recognizing it right now. I did uh, do a Tip Tuesday showing how to cut bangs into a wig using this wig. So if you want to know more about that, I will link that video in the description. But in this video, I just wanna show you a couple of different ways you can style it, whether it's in an updo, a ponytail, or other things. I just think it's a super important skill to have to know how to style your wigs. And after I did that budget-friendly review, I had a number of requests for this video to show how to style it. Because it is a budget friendly wig and it's fabulous I mean, it looks wonderful, but you know, there are a few things about it that maybe aren't as realistic as a more expensive synthetic wig. And so I thought, why not? I'll make a video and help you guys out. I do have some other styling videos out there, which I will uh, link in the description as well. I have an updo styling video that I go really into depth showing you how to put a wig in an updo and all of the things that go along with it. I plan to show you multiple styles in this video, so I won't spend as much time on the updo segment, but hopefully it will give you some ideas. So if you want to know more, then stick around and I will walk you through it. I think learning how to style your wigs is a critical component to the wig wearing journey and one that every one of my wig sisters should probably take some time to learn at some point. I just think there's so many reasons why. Number one, it gives you so much more flexibility with your wigs. Number two, it really allows you to branch out and try some different styles without fear. Sometimes you purchase a wig and it isn't the right wig for you. It's just not a perfect style or maybe you're not ready for that style yet. In the beginning of your wig wearing journey, it's overwhelming and sometimes trying to branch out is next feels impossible and every time you get a wig, it just doesn't work for you. I understand completely. I have some wigs that I can only wear styled. I have some wigs the only way I can wear them is in an updo. I have some wigs the only way I can wear them is with a headband. So it is, I'm not immune to it either. I can wear a whole lot of different things but sometimes certain styles just aren't right for me. And I have got to tell you guys the things that have saved me on this journey have been cloth headbands, bandanas, these are some of my favorite headbands, super easy to use, and claw clips of all sizes. I honestly think that I wouldn't be where I am today if I wouldn't have just gotten really comfortable with styling. So let me show you a couple of ways you can style this particular piece, but any uh, longer length wig you can do this with, or even mid length, it really just depends. You can use a lot of bobby pins if it's too short to get it into a great updo, those kinds of things. Now, I had mentioned in the introduction that this wig has had bangs cut into it. I will link the a review of this one that was just recently released because it is an awesome wig, under $30. But my one issue with it was that it doesn't have a lace front. And so it came with uh, sort of curtain bangs. And I just didn't think it looked super realistic right here. And so I cut bangs into it. And I, I did film it. Like I said, um, I think I said that in the introduction. I will link in the description the Tip Tuesday I did where I showed you how I cut bangs into it. I actually just did that today. So these bangs have not settled into their cut yet. I think... Anytime you get your hair cut, it takes a little while for you to settle into it. So I just, please forgive if they look a little uh, lifeless. It just happened about 35 minutes ago. So let's get styling. First of all, something really simple, doesn't require any skill, headbands. I love, love, love these kind of headbands. Now, you can, you can pull hair back, you can just stick it on. One of the things I love to do is I love to take some of the hair and pull it back. And you know what I need to do? I need to put my wig grip on. Let me finish this and then let me get a wig grip on so that this thing doesn't move around on my head. But you can pull some of the hair back. You can leave some of the hair forward so that you're disguising where the cap is and you just keep playing with it till you like what you see. Headbands can not only change up a look a lot, but if you purchase a, a wig that has permatease on the top and it's a little bit visible, 
a headband is really going to help hide that. And I do show that in a review I just recently did, and I'm forgetting what wig it was, but it had some visible permittees, and I showed you that just putting a headband on will hide it. Super simple, and if you get one of these, they actually look like a bandana of some sort, but it's just a really easy headband to stick on your head. Similarly, you can get any style, a bunch of styles, so you can match it to the clothes that you're wearing. Headbands, to me, are sort of a no-brainer on this journey. I will link everything that I'm showing in the description so that if you're interested in anything, you can go find it and see if it's something you can purchase. Um, most of the time I link to Amazon because it's just easy uh, and I am an affiliate so if you do purchase I get a little bit of a commission which I really appreciate because I put it back into this channel. Everything that I do I definitely try to bring you all kinds of helpful product reviews and things like that so that would be awesome but if you can find it cheaper somewhere else go for it. All right so I don't normally wear wig grips with my wigs. I don't like the extra bulk but if you're going to be putting a wig in updos or styling it, unless you're going to adhere the front of the wig, which I most of the time I do, you'll want something to hold that on your head as you're styling. It can be a little bit challenging to put a wig, especially in an updo, if it's slipping and sliding around on your head. So I will often wear um, wig grips when I put a wig in an updo. So let's talk about other types of styling that you could do with this besides headbands. Another really easy thing that you know doesn't require a lot of skill is a half up, half down. So you just pull some of the hair um, back, however much you want to do, and then you can find any type of a claw clip. Maybe I'll grab this one. And you just stick the claw clip in it. And with a uh, wig that has wefting like this one, it's really awesome because you can stick the claw through the wefting and it makes it super, super secure. Now, obviously, I can't see what I'm doing. I'm not looking behind me. But I think that turned out pretty good. Uh, you just, you know, the things to be aware of when you're putting a wig in an updo is can, are you showing any cap or any wefting? Are you showing your bio hair or where the wig transitions the cap to your head? One of the things I've shared in so many videos I can't even count anymore is this thing. This is, I always call it a razor comb. It's not technically a comb. It's like a, a razor with a handle. And this thing is awesome for doing updos because one of the things that you want to have when you do an updo is a little bit of wispies or baby hairs that will look make it look really natural and it will also help to disguise. So if you were to pull a lot of this hair back and let's say you can see, you know, where the cap is or where your bio hair is, you just pull a little bit of the hair out and then you just trim it off. So let me show you like this. You just trim a little bit of it off and you leave a little bit of wispies. And so you can do that anywhere on the sides or on the nape if you put your hair, your wig in an updo and you don't have any bio hair to blend. I really, really, I use this all the time. It's such a great addition. I actually used it to help trim the bangs in this one as well. Such a great thing to have. So that is something um, I highly recommend. Now, I prefer to use claw clips with my wigs instead of rubber bands. You can use a ponytail holder to put the wig in an updo. It, my issue with that is they, that causes an extreme amount of friction on the fibers. And that friction is just the enemy of synthetic wigs, especially heat friendly synthetic, which this is. And so you wanna be careful and minimize the friction. So a claw clip is a lot more gentle on the fibers than a rubber band, but you can certainly, certainly use a rubber band if that's what you prefer. Now, another thing you can do with these longer pieces now here's where it's gonna get a little challenging for me because I don't have awesome mobility in my shoulders. Um, I always struggle to do updos on camera. <laughs> so you'll forgive me, right? And you'll know that this is just demonstration. And if I were to be doing this for myself, like to wear, I would be taking a lot more time. So one thing that you can do is you can just do a regular ponytail. So once you pull the hair into the ponytail, you wanna make sure you're pulling the nape down that loosens some of this bottom hair so that it's not pulling the nape up and, and showing 
your bio hair or whatever it may be. I also love these kind of scrunchies because they're very, they're way more gentle than regular ponytail holders. So if you're going to do a ponytail with a wig, I would recommend trying to get some of those kind of scrunchies so that they're not as, they're a little bit more gentle on the wig. All right, so how are we doing? See what I mean? You can see my bio hair right there. So once you get it in place, now you're gonna just start pulling it down and loosening the tension on that cap so that you can't see that bio hair. Something else, again, that you could do is you could take your handy dandy little handled razor and you can cut a little bit of wispies anywhere where you're struggling to hide your bio hair. I really recommend, there's two things I recommend to help you with that, and I don't have one of them out. So let me grab it for you and then I'll show it to you. All right, so the two things that I recommend uh, are either a rat tail comb or an, oops, an eyebrow spoolie, like that. That can help so much in, in pulling out like a little bit. This is really great. If you're just trying to pull out some wis wispies on the side to cut in wispies, this helps you get those wispies. If you use your finger or you use a comb or even a rat tail comb, sometimes you pull out more hair than you want. So I highly recommend. Now this is putting friction on the wig. Again, always be careful, but I think it's minimal. So you do that. And then once you get some of those wispies, you use your razor and you just trim them off. Everybody has wispy, uh, sometimes it's called baby hair. Essentially it's kind of the breakage and regrowth of your own hair. Everybody has that. So wigs sometimes don't have that and you sometimes need to manufacture it to make it look realistic. So look at how kind of realistic this side looks right now. That's what you're going for. And so do the same thing on the other side or at the nape. And again, you're just playing with your wig and you're figuring it out, whatever works best for your own head. Everybody's head shape is different. Everybody's hairline is different. So how much of that you need to do is going to depend on you. So that is how I would do a ponytail with this one. Now, the last one, I think it's the last one, unless I think of something else as I'm doing this, but the last one right now that I'm gonna show is the, up, the messy updo. I love, love, love doing messy updos with long wigs. So basically, I start out the same as I did for the ponytail. I'm just gathering the hair back now, what I do is I take it and I do a couple of twists, very simple twists like this. My hands and shoulders are let me down, you guys. Okay, let's twist again. I have all kinds of joint stuff going on and oh, it can be frustrating. So just a couple of twists like that. Again, you're going to constantly be tugging down at that nape because as I'm playing with this, I am pulling that up a little bit. Not a lot because this wig grip is really holding this wig very, very securely, but it does pull it a little bit. I also have a review of a great wig grip out there by The Hair Grip, which I will link in the description for you guys. It's fabulous and it holds wigs so well. I highly recommend it. Now, I take a claw clip. There are every kind of claw clip you can imagine out there. Style, color, whatever you prefer. You just need to figure out what kind will work best for the style you're going for, for the thickness of the wig, all of those things. So then you just stick the clip in. And again, you're just gonna mess with it here and here, just to make sure you can't see anything you don't want to see. And then you arrange the hair however you want it. What I love about these longer wigs that have just a little bit of soft waves at the end is it can look really cute at the, at the top there. And then you're going to arrange the sides like you want them and all of that. And that's it. It is so easy. Again, if you need to get a little wispies out, use your spoolie. It's just an eyebrow spoolie. I think I might have said that already. And you can leave these pieces long if you like that look. 
or you can cut them shorter so it looks a little bit more like regrowth. Whatever works out best for you, but this is one of the most comfortable hairdos, honestly. I have my Beltress Peerless. It's a 22 inch wig, way too long for me typically. I wear that like this every single time I wear it. I can wear it all day long and it's so perfect for doing things outside if it's going to be windy. I have hair fibers on me somewhere. You see me doing this. Um, it's great for hot days when it's really hot outside. I will either wear a short wig, which I don't always like short wigs on me, and so it depends on my mood, or I'll throw a longer wig on and I'll put it in an updo. That is why I say to you guys, don't write off any specific style because you never know when you'll figure something out that's going to work great for you. You may not be a long hair wearer. I really typically am not. I love long hair for updos like this. On a hot day, I'm putting an updo in. Honestly, you guys, I can't stress enough the importance of styling. I don't know how perfect it looked. You saw me. I was just doing it. I wasn't really looking, but it's really not that hard. And then you can use little claw clips to clip up parts on, on the sides or whatever you want. But honestly, this particular wig, I am likely going to wear it like this probably like this most of the time, or in a ponytail. Those are probably the two ways I'll find myself wearing it. I might wear it down with a headband or something, or even just plain, but I tend to get really, really hot, and a long wig like this is going to make you a little bit hotter because it's really covering your neck and all of that. But this is actually cooler than some bob length wigs, in my opinion, because it's pulling all of the hair up off of my neck, off of my sides, all of that. All right, you guys, that's it. This was a longer video than I anticipated, but I hope it helped you. It gave you some ideas. It gave you some courage. Now, don't forget, I cut these bangs in. It did not come with these bangs. So if you go to purchase this wig, which is linked in the description, you're going to have to cut bangs in, but that's okay because I did it for you on video and you can just go watch that. Please, please, please let me know if you guys have questions. I would love to know if this was helpful. And anytime you comment or you like my videos, it helps me because YouTube then recommends it more when people are searching. And that is all good. So please do all of the things with the video that engage with it. I love you guys. I really appreciate you a lot. I'll talk to you soon.